I know, I'm doing scary stuff. I'm sorry.
Don't let her get away with dictating that too often because she just found a way to get you to change your mind. Better than on the ramp. She knows her job now. Good girl. Ask her to step back over. Step up and step back over. Step up. Step back over. Good. 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 Now, now make it your idea. Good. Good. Now make it your idea. Good. And then now bring her out while she's good. I'll use the word over, but I actually want you to use the word out or away, whichever okay. one you like better. Because to get her to come off the wall to back out, you would use the over okay. to invite her to come close to you. So that's where that comes in handy, the over being different from away. She wants to be in the middle of it all. 
Step if you can. Good. Good. Now release her while she because she had a little panic attack there. So go ahead and release her without. Yeah. Because I want her to, to have those panic moments that she did have, and then still have you say, "But wait, we're, I'm going to get you out of here. We got to calm down." The more she has those kind of moments, and the more she can get through those moments, the fewer of those moments she'll have. <laughs> I stopped training dogs because I couldn't train people. Dogs go home with their people. They're often at the barn. So, you know, so it's easier to work with people and horses, but horses and, and dogs and people are tough. Oh, she's just walking, so just instead of going with her, encourage her to step up. Good. Yep. Tell her it's not an option. Good. Oh, such a good girl. Good. 
Ouais. Good girl. Now let her out. Good. Yep. So when she struggles like that, where you have to keep getting her back against the wall, as soon as she goes back against the wall and you see like the top of her muscle, top of her butt relax for even a split second, that's what you want to time. And then gradually she'll stop having the panics and then you can start counting. But until she stops having the then it's like you're lying to her. You know what I mean? I'm not going to trap you in here. Just kidding. You ever go to a show and you see those people that just load up their horses and you're just like, man, I wish I had a horse like that. Good. Yep. Good. And what you're fixing Good. Because you're fixing your pullback problem. Yeah. Right? You've done a lot better with that. So it's just, it just happens to be a residual bonus to this work. Like even yesterday when I gave her a bath, sometimes she dances around a little bit. She just stood there with her, like, you know, she was all relaxed with her foot popped up and everything. Huh. Good job. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, even when you treat your 20-year-old horse like they're still young, it helps them. Such a good girl. I love how that last step, she reached under herself for that position. Good? Now, bring her out. Good. Still, you can still see the tension, but you can see the relaxation starting to happen. But we just want to get her out of this pretty part. Good. Good. How'd you get here?
Yes, I know. You, you, you can roll around on your belly. Uh, you know, I just think about that this morning. Hosing my horses off, I wouldn't hose them off before they went outside. I mean, what? Clean horse. Clean horse? That's a permanent dirty horse. what we're going to do in the trailer. You're not practicing loading my horse up and going somewhere. You're practicing this, the mechanics of it. So there's a little less stress on you too. I love that she knows as soon as she gets in there. Now, this time, make your goal like to count of three. Good. And I was going to tell you, if you think three is too much, then make your goal two. Okay. But make your two have to be, if she messes it up, start again. Okay. You're looking for your two, kind of like what you did. Oh. There's frustration. Is she like, so. Okay, so then she's kind of like, hey, by the way. She bumps into your arm, she ran into you. Okay. 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 So what's cool about the like some of the stuff that I do, especially with nipping holes, is I set it up. So like say your horse is girthy. I'll deliberately stand here knowing that I'm gonna use this hand as an electric fence. Okay. Then I'll deliberately do something that I know will cause them to reach around and try to bite me. And then I'm gonna meet them with the same force that they swing around. I'm gonna meet them halfway. Yeah, like she will do it, it's like when she's mad kind of like in there, I don't know if she's mad or not. She just casually, like, she doesn't do it fast, she just casually like, grabs it on. And like when she's inside sometimes, I'm like, you're not paying attention to her. She'll do it. <laughs> like, I don't know how to correct her about it because she's not really, I don't know. So like, there's nothing triggering it necessarily. Yeah, like, it's not like she's being mean, like, attacking me. She's just like, <laughs> like, just drag it on a little bit. Well, it's funny <laughs> that you, there's two dogs here that do that too. <laughs> It might just be you, because <laughs> there's this little dog that runs around and uh, get a little nip. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's the only dog that's got it too. <laughs> like, oh, those were teeth. Okay. <laughs> so what I would do after you t t t tell her to over or away, out. If you're standing like this, and that's when she's gonna kind of go for your arm. Just if you kind of can tell through, don't, like, don't stare her down, yeah, yeah. but if you can tell she's coming around for that, just meet her halfway. Um, and then when you meet them halfway, I always tell people, a horse won't put their nose on an electric fence twice. But if you turn it into an exchange, it's like playing halter tag, it's a game. Then they see how fast they can bite you and get away. Then the bites get harder. So you don't want to turn it into an exchange because then it's a, it becomes a game. Yeah. 
good. That's a good one. That's a really good one. And if she's willing to stay, let her stay. And as soon as you, you know, you can ask her to back, like if she's willing to stay, that's kind of a tough one because yeah. you want to be still the one that initiates the backup. But in the same sense, if she's willing to stay, be like, all right, three, four, five. Okay, now let's go out, yeah. even if she was willing to stay longer. Good girl. She's like, well, you just told her how to stop me from fighting. I'm going to have to learn nothing better to do but just stand there. Yeah. Oh, what a good girl. So, I would have gone ahead and adjusted that step away that she can take. Right? This way, she understands there is a particular place for her. Because what that one step away was, even if it seemed like it was for balance, I didn't believe it was for balance. I believed it was like a... No, it, it wasn't even, I don't want to give these, like, a, a, you know, tag. She touched the wall, and she stepped back off the wall. Um, so, or, no, no, you need to be against the wall. Because this step became the game. This black and white. your idea? Did you say back first? Yeah. Okay. Because it looked like I couldn't, I didn't hear you first, but it looked like she. So what I'm getting now, and tell me if you're seeing the same thing, is she's waiting for you to say. Yeah, and she's getting a lot more relaxed because she's putting her head down, mm -hmm. putting her phone and everything. There's a little bit of alcohol, but I don't know how much it is. <laughs> but it seemed to me that the, the body kind of relaxed. Mm -hmm. And then she just kind of like, well, you're going to, like, she's convinced now you are going to tell her. Yeah. Okay, and now she's waiting for that to happen. So now see, don't over-challenge yourselves, mm. but see if you can even up it from, I don't know where how many seconds you're at. It looks more like you're closer to yeah. five now. See if you can up it to ten yeah. and still make it your idea to get out. Okay. If you can up it to ten, what we'll do is then we'll just show her the divider, but I don't think we're going to try to close her in today. So good. And if she moves and you think you won't get to 10, then ask for five. Nope, nope. nope. Again, you're helping her with her pullback problem. If you don't think you'll get five, go for three. Good. 
Good. Yep, weight's a good command to give her. I use that when I want my horses to show patience. Okay? So right there was where you would use your over if you wanted to. You could have squared her butt up. Good. Now, how valuable do you think all that just was? Yeah. Because you stayed in there. You said, I need something specific from you. And until I get specific from you, we can't leave. But you did it with a calmness that wasn't like panic. Oh, my God, let me trap my horse in here because I finally got her in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Is what people do. Yeah. So both of you built your confidence. You're like, no, I have a plan. And she's like, oh, I guess you have a plan. But I'm not sure how to do it. Well, I have a plan. Oh, you know. Yeah. So you had, a, you had a chance to have a conversation up in there. So this time it should go a little bit smoother. And if 10 is too much, then, then go for seven, go for eight, you know, just find a, find a spot where it's still your idea to come out. I love that, good girl. Good. Oh, that was good. I'd let her out now for that. That I don't want to say that was surrender, but that was that was belief that I'm stuck here, yeah. right? And and she was willing to kind of give in because you gotta read every little piece of their body that talks to you, so that you guys can really. I mean, then when you start writing, like there's not anything she can want to tell you that you're not gonna hear. have a solid five, you can reach over and just kind of move that divider if you want, but if you don't feel like you have a solid five, which I'm going to say she's, she's kind of taking yeah. a tiny bit of backtrack, but that's okay. Um, she's also she's like backtracking and then she's having even a bigger movement of I'm okay, but it's like she still wants to have say, and that's all that that is, is her still saying, do I have, is, is this open for discussion? And then Certain things just aren't, you know, the vet's not open for discussion, the farrier's not open for discussion, trailer's not open for discussion. Yep, 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 don't let her make you move. Yep, good. She's like, wait, wait, I heard about discussion, I'm gonna have a discussion. Good girl. Should I let her out before she does anything? Good. Because she was so quiet. Now, I don't know what time it is, but now is when you start picking your, which one would I end on as far as the trailer? We could do something else, but now when you pick on which one would I end on? Um, so, like, that was good, but I'm not saying you have to end there. I'm saying, like, now is when I would start to think, I'm, I'm starting to get a pretty good horse here. So, could I, should I challenge her, or should I get a solid what I've been doing? You know, th those are the, those are the two things. Because if you challenge her and she's successful, But if you have been getting really good changes from the last time, all this time, but you get a really good one of those, you can sit on it. So it's kind of up to you.
my belief because I think she's still not convinced you're not planning the traffic. So like if you said like if this one's great and you suddenly say I think that was the best one to soak on then we're gonna let her soak on it. You it's up to you to decide now. Unless I see one that I'm like absolutely soaked on that. That was beautiful. So like one like that, even though the end was great, one like that I wouldn't end on because there was a discussion. Yeah. So had we taken her out within the first few seconds, that would have been a great, you know, but don't, don't let her have a, uh, a chance to discuss it with you on the one you want to put on. Hi, Kiki, Kiki. Oh, I've never seen anyone do it with a record.
that was a good one to end on. It seemed completely based on her saying, what would you like me to do? Life's not fair, little Tiki. Thing with the baby, 